Are you bow? Dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> bow. Don't get me started, cause I'm. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you see the name? You know what he did? <laughs> My what? goodness. Yeah. Jeez. Five Aside Podcast. You see the discussions from our perspective and our chains. perspective only. only. And today you are joined by Sebastian, Kendrick, Elisha, Gabriel. You stupid. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> And this is episode three, and I know Gabe is ready to talk that Hmm, talk, hmm. but thank you guys all for tuning in. Thank you guys for the support that we've been getting since episode one. Since before episode one even officially dropped. Let's clap it up for everybody that's been tuning in. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, from the jump, you guys have been showing crazy love from all over. Yo, come on. 250K? Talk it, talk it. What's the stats? What's the stats? 250K? Uh Uh-huh. Three weeks. A thousand on TikTok? Uh Uh-huh. 700 on IG? Come on, how many subscribers on YouTube? About 250 on YouTube? Wow. Are you crazy? From the start, from the start. That's just what we do. And that shows the love that football fans who recognize real, authentic, other football fans who know how to talk about the sport, who know what they're talking about, who have a different perspective. Come and on, we man. appreciate y'all for tuning in, whether you're listening on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. We're on Apple Podcasts now. We, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whether you're tuning in with the clips on Crazy. Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram, Twitter, whether you're watching the full version on YouTube, we appreciate you. We love y'all. Definitely continue to tune in, continue to tap in, sending your questions, your comments. All that good stuff. We got football discussions coming up right away. And Gabe, you ready for this? I know you ready for this. I know Bro, you happy. Me, I know you excited right now. It. Let me get straight to we it. We're gonna get straight to it. Can we and put I'm, a can we put a time bro on this? Listen, you already know the facts. I'm just gonna repeat them for those who don't know. You yeah, know yeah. This. And tell them what's uh, up. What's going on? What's been what's been happening? Oh. Ballon d'Or Benz is here. <laughs> It's been a long time coming. You Bow. saw him in 2015 looking at Ronaldo with his Ballon d'Or, mm-hmm. James Rodriguez with his award, the whole team, whatever. Benz made his come up and he said it would happen since he left Lyon for Real Madrid. You see the jersey? Do you know what he did in this jersey? <laughs> what he did? 45 goals, 15 assists. Mm. You wait for Champions League trophy. La Liga trophy. Mm. Banging a hat trick on Chelsea. Mm. Come back against Paris Saint-Germain. Y'all mm. said Mbappe, Neymar, Messi. We don't care about all that, bro. What happened to final Liverpool? Another victory. That's his fourth Champions League. He went crazy all year. He did more than the stats too. For those who don't actually know the game, it's called link up play. It's called making space for your teammates. It's called the pressure of having the biggest team in the world say, yo, we don't know what to do. Give him the ball to you and still Mm. banging him all them goals. And he did that shit with drip off the pitch too, which is why I had to come correct today. Uh Who else you know winning the ball and door and it's Fenny's official, official sneaker partner. Like, bro, it's just different over here. And the first Frenchman to win it since Zinedine Zidane, Zizou, who presented him with the award, yeah. another Real Madrid legend. We got yeah. the magazine right here. Yeah. Fresh all off our classical victory, first place in La Liga, 15 games, 13 wins this season. Another 3 0 today. Mm-hmm. Ben scored again. It's very calm, bro. Benzema, we, we gotta give it up for Real Madrid. We gotta give it up for Benzema. Come on. It's not new. Come on. We gotta give it up for him. Ben's dead. I mean, he did. He did. <laughs> he he did. won it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's good to see him win it because I felt like. Mm. He's been in Ronaldo's shadows ever since he went to Real, bro. Mm. Like, and it, it's it's That's been a real. tough journey because mm. it's always seemed like he's 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 had the talent, he's put in the work, and there's a lot of people who've kind of believed in him for over a decade now, but he's never been able to have that real shine, you know? Because mm. obviously, it's tough when you dealing with Messi, yeah. dealing with Ronaldo. Like it's mm. it's not it's not easy to rise to the top and win an For award sure. like that. So yeah, yeah congratulations Congrats to Benzema to Benz, uh, pulling up to the Ballon d'Or ceremony in Machiavelli Come fashion. Come on, with <laughs> the, with the, with the <laughs> stupid. What <laughs> no, are you talking about? Yeah, and For all sure. eyes were on him yeah. that night. I mean, I, yeah, I think it was a glorious night. I sure. he absolutely deserves it. Yeah. I mean, like I said last time, the street said Sadio Mane was going to win it, but was whatever. Saying bands the same way they were saying Zizou. Uh, don't ever get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop playing. The street says Sadio. Shout out Sadio. But yeah, shout out Sadio big time though. We love Sadio. Let's Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane too. Yeah, we like Mane. Yeah. 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 No, no hate. He we got, Mane. We love Mane. He, for sure. He got for sure. second place. Lewandowski got third place. Mm-hmm. But also, Mane won the Socrates Award. First which ever. is what the humanitarian award yep. giving to... Mm-hmm. What, what's the details on that? 
just overall humanitarian efforts through charities, um, whether it's back in your home country, mm -hmm. in the country you're playing, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, Mane's always been known for being someone who really gives back. He even said one time, like, why should I have a Lambo when people in my village can't even afford shoes? Mm -hmm. So he's just living by his word and giving back to his people. So got to clap it up for Mane again. Yes. For sure. hey, Neighborhood see. hero. I was about to add, he definitely does a lot of Senegal. He put For up sure. in the Kaftan. You see the fit he had. Come yeah. He was drippy as well. So yeah, shout out to Senegal. Big shout out. Shout out to Senegal. Shout man. out to Senegal. Walk-up winner. Hey, hey, walk-up winner. Yes. Harlem's going crazy when that happens. My neighbor is going to be jumping. We outside. Come on. This calls for celebration. Lots of celebrations sure. to go around. And low key, yo, the streets also been talking about Benzema pulling up with his lady Don Benzi and his former lady come on Benzie. it's like the Drake the line same, I just see my same. ex girl standing with my next girl standing with a girl that I, anyways it's fine <laughs> yo it's fine that's yeah, not <laughs> that's not it. crazy it's though fine. hey real nigga shit bro that's not that. crazy that. to pull up with your gal come and on. your ex gal in the same room to it's celebrate bold. baby mama specifically Yes. And the fact that the it's mother not, of his children. Let's clap it up for non toxic yeah. relationships that are finished. We love that. Come yes. on, come on. We love that. We love that. We love that. We love that. We, we do that. love that. We, we do support love that. Non toxic, healthy Co relationships. Co-parenting, beautiful. We love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? If the relationship don't work, you pull up, you support the That's father of your children. For sure. Current lady pulls up there. You are so happy. I know. Life is good and right I'm now, but I can't <laughs> lie, bro. Everything is nice. Very, very nice. Oh, my God. But also, speaking of the Ballon d'Or, we also got a shout out. The women's Ballon d'Or and especially Barcelona's own Alexia Puteas, back-to-back -back winner for the first time ever. Vamos. First time ever. Vamos. Back to back winner. Come on. Yeah, and that's sabes. just what Barca do. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's the and men's the or the game. women's, we just we make it happen. You know, Barcelona Football Club. Come on, Visca Barça. Come on, Barcelona. So yeah, we're proud of Alexia. You know what I'm saying? Shout out sure. Asisad too. Could have yes. could have easily won that too. You know what I'm saying? On for both sure. sides. It's either Asisat or Alexia, whoever, hmm. Barca's going to get it done. You feel me? But yeah, shout out to the women's games overall. I know you spoke of Trinity Rodman last time. And just the game is growing. Obviously, the skill is there. Yep. The awareness is growing. Mm -hmm. And I think that if they continue to push this out, if we continue as football fans to recognize just the talent and the skill that exists in the women's game, obviously, as we see Sam Kerr and a whole bunch of other um, uh, female players out there, then... It's only going to grow the game itself, not just the women's game, but the overall game. Absolutely. Period. So, and that's only facts. better for football. No, that's a fact. Shout out Trinity Rodman and Washington Spirit. Sanchez was there as well. They was all suited up with me, Katarina. Trinity had a fit. If it mm -hmm. was crazy. The blue, what? Blue we gonna move the, we the gonna blue. Blue. People saying the people saying that was the matrix. That shit was <laughs> hard, yo. Fits of the week. The for navy sure. matrix is crazy. Backless dress. She knows Come the on. vibes, bro. That's drip. Future bro. winner too. That's how she was stepping in there. She oh, knows yeah. she's taking that yeah. award yeah. home no, in the next. Sure. I'm gonna say in the next three years. Maybe two. She's taking that award Maybe home. Two. She can win the next year. Yeah. But in the next three, guarantee it. Youngest, youngest woman ever to be nominated. Speak on it. That's a rookie season. Yeah. The ceiling. There's no ceiling for crazy. Nah. Shout out. Genuinely, could become the goat. Like actually, that nice. Crazy yeah. accolades. Super Absolutely. Different. And speaking of the youngest, bro, the transitions just happen oh, on themselves. It's a very smooth bro, podcast. <laughs> very smooth, man. Smooth as butter. But we're going to talk about another sure. somebody else who's smooth as butter. That guy, Gavi, man. Shout out to Gavi winning White the privilege. Copa Award. First of White all, privilege. first of all, oh, God. that boy deserve it. I don't know about that. Are you, what you mean? Let's go in a that. circle and, and we'll talk about who deserves it. But is you, it, is go, it, do your piece first. Hold bro. on. Piece, is it really piece. far fetched? <clears throat> That he was named the best young player in Europe. Are yes, we certainly. What do you mean? hundred percent. Yes. Who would? Okay, we gonna go around. Wait, who I, I want to ask better? you first. Not yeah. not stat checking. Like uh -huh. obviously you don't even know his stats, yes. but like what what makes you say he's deserving? Like because it could be the eye test too. Yeah, like, like is is it is it like goals? Is it the way he played? Is it what he did for the team? Like actually, what is it? For those who are unaware, he was nominated against Eduardo Camavinga, mm -hmm. who won the Champions League La Liga with Real Madrid. And when, when Madrid was in trouble, they took off the legendary Tony Kroos, put him on a young French baller who changed the game <laughs> against your favorite team, PSG, Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool. And I wouldn't even have said Camavinga to like No, but I'm not even done yet. Jamal Musiala, exactly. going crazy exactly. for Bayern Munich. Exactly. Exactly. Leading the team as a teenager and Jude Bellingham, Bellingham. doing the same exactly. for Dortmund. Lots of team success compared to three, anyways. Three anyways. black three brothers. Three black brothers in midfield going crazy. They gave it to a little white boy, but we know all about white privilege. There's nothing new here. Nothing new here. Hey, yeah. Go ahead. Talk your but shit. But speak your shit, bro. Go ahead. Nah, for Defend sure. Defend it. Defend it. Defend it. Yeah. 
I'm def- I'm not PK. I will defend it. That's a bar. Say that again. Say that again. I'm not PK. I'm going to defend it. Okay, that's a bar. That's a bar. That's a bar, bro. All I'm going to say, and you you preface this very well, aside from the stats, floor general, bro. Gavi controls it. Gavi is the maestro of the team. At his age, too, what other player do you know? They have a supporting cast. How old is the brother? The other teams have supporting cast. Was he 18, 19? <sighs> they have a supporting cast. Dortmund? Which cast? Yeah, Dortmund has veterans. Pedri's Dortmund, better than Gavi on his own team? Dortmund has, <laughs> like... I'm not. No, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. Hold He's on. He's not on. the man, without, bro. Without, without being, without in all seriousness, like in bro. all in all seriousness, mm-hmm. yeah, without yeah, being we're serious, without bro. being, without being. All right, <laughs> <laughs> without being biased for Barca, Pedri's better. I do think it was it was it was white privilege. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if it was yeah, white yeah, privilege yeah, yeah, or if it was Barca privilege. Was a little bit of but I do think that I do think that there's about three other players which you've named: Jamal Musiala, yeah. um, Jude Bellingham, uh, Jude Bellingham, that yeah, I think yeah. should have won it for instead sure, of him. Sure. Like honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. all jokes aside. I I don't know specifically why, mm-hmm. but I do feel like there there were other more competent players. Yeah. But th- that happens. It ain't yeah. nothing yeah. new. Nah, like sure. it, yeah, and Barca, being Barca privilege wouldn't be like a surprise. Yeah, either, you know, it's political. Um, and also, you, yeah, yeah I was gonna say y'all at home. Let us know who should have won it. Yeah, for sure. We want to hear from y'all. Yeah, tap and, in. And Gavi, look, I'm a Spain fan. I want you to ball in the World Cup, but I just feel like you had three other guys that clearly had better seasons, more impactful. That's just my view, for real. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't, I could, yeah. There's certain things, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's clear that he shouldn't have won it. Um, They were <laughs> quick, better contenders. Quick little question. But, Out of those four Copa nominees, who do you think is most likely to ever be a Ballon d'Or nominee? Because mm. that's a whole nother level. Oh, if I, I had to pick one non-biased, probably Jude. I don't think Jude um, is the English player to win the Ballon d'Or. Oh, I was saying even nominated out of those four. Because they're so young. We don't really know where their career is going to go. If yeah. I had to pick one to be nominated, I'm a low-key probably go with Jude over even my boy Kamavinga. Yeah, yeah I, I, think, special. I think we'll, we'll move into this as we as we discuss other yeah. awards. But it's very difficult to be nominated for the Ballon d'Or if you're not a forward, if you're not a striker. Mm-hmm. So you have to kind of score goals to get that visibility. Well, nominated you can get. It's more winning. I'd winning say. it. But like yeah. even being on the podium, if we look at the podium this year, Facts. it's yeah. forwards. Modric winning was kind of crazy. Exactly. 2018 is very exactly. rare. It's so I, I would say Jude just because like of his, his ability to score goals. Yeah. yeah. Jamal too gets a lot yeah. of goals. True. True. The Bayern boy. Jamal for sure. Jamal so he scores as well. What's his game? I haven't pre the guy too much. I say... <laughs> He's a midfielder who gets goals. He yeah. makes a lot of good Is runs there to somebody the box. He plays like that. I would know. I just haven't really. I can't. Ozil. Ozil. Like, honestly, a little bit like Ozil. Ozil? Okay. More just, attacking, I would say. Yeah, less a less of the. Less, he's not a ten. Like he's that. not finishing yeah. the ball. No, yeah. but he's making those runs. He's yeah. a midfielder who gets a lot of goals. Yeah. Okay. Thomas Muller vibes in some extent. True. Too. Good point. Yeah. 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 But, but to that he's, point, he's technical though. He's oh, very, very techy. Very techy. I was gonna say to answer who I think would be nominated to win La Liga ran the whole award, so it also depends where they go. Yeah. La Liga right. did, hmm. and that's just oh, where I, that's La just Liga where won goes. every individual award. So let's clap it up for La Liga. Yeah. Come on, come on, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And I need door. y'all clapping loud. Yeah. I don't know why you quiet yeah. over there. I need you. I need you clapping very but, hey, loud. Wait, wait. Let me give him a little bit of Serie A love. La Liga did. I saw a statistic. So La, uh, La Liga uh-huh. now has twenty six Ballon d'Ors, which okay. is the most. But second place is Serie A with twenty. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give him a little bit more love. Florentino Perez, I think, has. Five to seven Ballon d'Ors, one under his presidency, which is actually tied, I believe, with AC Milan, who Indeed. has the same amount. Yep. So I got to give my boy hey, you know, some credit historically, big, big football Milan. heritage, you know? feel you me? Know? But it's been a minute. It's cute. Now, but <laughs> name a Ballon d'Or at Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Bro. Niggas were saying Jorginho. That was disgust. Like, bro, no. we would have had to cancel no. the sport. As an Italian, that's no. hilarious. We would have no. had to cancel the sport if Absolutely they won. Absolutely not. Love y'all UCL, going. but that's crazy. Absolutely not. Wasn't he player of the year? I would ho- was he really? I, I would hope know? not. Yeah, he wasn't even y'all best player. I, would I, hope he was he, I, I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was from the Euros. I would hope he, not. He won player of the yeah, year. Yeah, whatever somewhere. he got. If, <laughs> if, if, if shout out <laughs> Jorginho. Nah, if Angolo Conte not up there, Jorginho definitely don't deserve it. I'm yeah, sorry. Like we're gonna fact bro. check it. So all right, before we move on, right? Yeah. Speaking of not deserving, Benzema. Because on this podcast, we all agree, but we have seen the comments. We have seen the flip side of the discussion. I've seen a lot of people discuss whether or not Benzema might be the worst Ballon d'Or winner in a long time. Mm. We haven't really seen someone put up the numbers that Messi and Ronaldo used to put up. 
Benzema has come in, Modric has come in, and we've seen what they've been able to do. Yeah. Do we think that the level at which Benzema played at is equivalent to some of the past Ballon d'Ors? And where would you rank him just in your head in terms of well, his season and the win yeah, that he got? Yeah, for sure. First off, Ronaldo Messi is just like, same as basketball, LeBron Jordan, just kind of get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, bro, that's just a whole other level. Um, I'd say he had a better season than Modric when he won it. I'd say it'd be comparable to a Kaka 2007, Ronaldo 2008. Essentially pre-alien pre era where they were scoring 100 a calendar year. Not literally, you know what I'm saying? 50, Messi 60, did, 70, bro. 80, Messi. Yeah, he had 100 calendar year or 91, whatever. Like pre that era where them guys are scoring more goals than games, mm -hmm. it's a normal, very good bound door season. I think we don't understand what we just witnessed the last, what, 12, 15 years? Yeah. That shit's done, bro. Sick. People are not scoring a goal a game to Sick. win a Ballon d'Or every season for 10 straight years. That's not happening anymore. Well, sure so I think it's a regular, good. very incredible season. And we're just past those Ronaldo Messi days. Yeah, I think it's yeah. it's unfair to ever compare for sure, anyone. bro. To those guys, like we we've been so spoiled, which is why it pisses on, me man. off. Let's count it up for the goats real quick. Come on, let's, come on. let's absolutely end and of an era, but that was special. Bro. <laughs> it's it's uh, that thing where I feel like we've been so spoiled mm. for a decade plus with Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah, that that discussion has been going on for so long of who's better, Ronaldo, yeah. Messi, who's better, <laughs> and it just it kind of tainted the experience that we could have had. Like we yeah. robbed ourselves as football fans, like. I don't, I don't do it as much personally, yeah, but I got to just put myself in that lot as a football fan. No, like, facts. We've tainted <laughs> the experience that we could have had enjoying of enjoying Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo for the past 10 years by just comparing them constantly. Yeah. So now that somebody like Benzema wins it, and Appreciate he did it. it clearly, like he deserves it. Yeah. We don't even, bro, we don't even need to like put him up against former Ballon yeah. d'Or winners because it's just like, he did his thing. He was the best player in Europe. Yeah. And that's just... A period on that, bro. bro like he um, appreciate greatness in general. It. Yeah. Just appreciate greatness. I just want to say I did a fact check. Jorginho won UEFA Men's Player of the Year, twenty twenty one. 2020, 2021. Yeah. But not, cool. that was after what, he won the Euros? Also, yeah, UEFA yeah. Men's Player of the Year is for the Champions League only. It doesn't yeah, include yeah, his yeah. La Liga just, season. I'm just that. letting y'all know. That's great. <laughs> you, just had to, you just had to mention Chelsea's so the Chelsea down player. Bad. I'm just letting y'all know. After the nail to the Brentford today, he's got to really dig for the In the case y'all were wondering facts. who was the player of the year. <laughs> now back your team, bro. It was Jorginho. In 2021. Yeah. yeah. We were I will, all wondering. I yeah. will say one thing about Benz. I know we got to, you know, get mm -hmm. on to yeah. other topics. I appreciate his his play style because not only is he a proper facts. man, but he also can take the 10 and link up role. You know, with um Ronnie, Rooney mm -hmm. really played a very, very critical role in like, you know, yep. freeing up space for him. So Benzema, I don't know. I think that really played like a factor into And granted, the comebacks. Very dramatic comebacks in the Champions League. So it's part of the narrative, the entertainment, yep. you know. And shout out uh, Florentino it's Perez, nice. who in signing him said, no, for, no <laughs> yeah, real shit. He took this boy from Lyon. He said, this guy yeah, yeah, is true. a mixture of R9 and Zizou. Not for sure. And I could not find a better description mm -hmm. for how Benzema plays. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Obviously, he's not to the level of them two combined times two, mm -hmm. but the style as a Linko player, as a techie player with the finishing, with the viciousness, that is a perfect description. He saw that in the young boy from Lyon. Bro. He got himself a Ballon d'Or winner and five Champions Leagues with that guy. Come on. I'm Speaking. Benzema is Benzema. A yeah. mix of R9 and Zidane is crazy, bro. Watch, watch, watch. What? That's not OD to you? Time out, time out. No, no, no. Style wait, 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 wait. wait. Ronaldo, talk Lu about Real all day, bro. Ronaldo, Luis Nazario <laughs> da Lima, it, and Zinedine yeah, yeah. Zidane, a I mix of the two. I got you. No, I got you. Style, so style wise, he takes from both of them. He's not better than either one. So I'm saying say style wise. Leon, yeah, Leon, he was a finisher. Leon, <laughs> Leon, he was a finisher. Zizou is the grace which he has on the pitch, and he has a nice touch. I won't say to the extent. It's what? also, it's also, it's also what being does, French. Yes. This is his guy, though. This, what, like, this is, is his good. guy. What, yeah. what does I'm Ronaldo, sleeping, Luis Nazario, Dalima has that Karim Benzema has too? Tell me. Bro. <laughs> Tell me. I think you were trying to say it. Imagine a Zizou, like a Linko player, really techie, really skillful, all that kind of Benzema creative stuff. Techie? Who also hey, he's, 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 he's very techie. I'm sorry, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just to preface bro. this. They're right now comparing Ronaldo <laughs> R9 to no, Benzema. No, I'm not, Keep going, bro. keep going. Okay, literally all athletes draw from other athletes' game. We're saying Benzema draws a bit from Zizou and a bit from Ronaldo to be his own player. He's not as good as either one of them. Speaking of... That's all. <laughs> it's really of, not that crazy, bro. Speaking of powerful forwards... Let's talk about it. What are you going to say? Erlen Holland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man City mm -hmm. took, a, took a little fall this weekend. I saw a tweet. 
from Zito. Shout out Zito. Great mm. tweets always on football Twitter. Okay. He said that Erling Holland looked like Andy Carroll with lip fillers when he don't have space to run into. God damn. Oh my God. That's a 1 0 loss to Liverpool. My bro, why are you talking about people's lips? (laughs) (laughs) He said Andy Carroll with lip fillers. There goes the Dr. Miami (laughs) sponsorship, bro. That's gone. And for those who don't know, Andy Carroll was not a very good striker. (laughs) So, yeah, Um, 1 0 loss. Shout out to Liverpool, Um, man. Shout out to Liverpool. Let's clap it up for them, man. Shout out to Liverpool. Let's clap it up for them, man. Spinning them boys. That's that's a good win. That's a good win. It's a great win. People been shitting on them. I'm yeah. not a Liverpool fan. You already know never, where I stand. Yeah. But people have been shitting on them all season. Coming back a little and so bit. So for them to have that grit. Fresh off the 7-0 at, too. You feel me? Yeah. At Anfield and hold up a team that's been crushing everybody. You got to give them their props. And Trent began shitting on like crazy. Did he play? Hmm. I don't know. But he been getting <laughs> shit. Who knows? He been getting <laughs> shitting on like Trent crazy. Plays. So yeah. yeah, shout out to all them. It's um, it, Bro, it's a thing where the, the hypocrisy of of fans bro yeah, where we always feel like we judge teams and players on a match by match basis For on sure. a two three game basis For on sure. a half a season basis when it's like bro they're like you have to cut them some slack like how many Not years sure, now bro. has liverpool been dominating how many years now has god damn it what nah, is, i mean what, the the, the ballon d'or we it. talked about it we're gonna retire these shades <laughs> we're gonna get some a little bit calmer got a shorter eyelashes so you know for sure Go ahead, bro. Continue. Continue. Keep talking, bro. Continue. Keep talking. I'm here. I'm chilling. I'm listening. How many years now? <laughs> it was getting How dark. many years now has Liverpool shown their quality to now For see sure. how much the football world has disrespected them this season? I'm just yeah. like, yo, if they go to Enfield, go to battle with Manchester City, and they get a one nil win, and Salah scores. Yeah. Bro, that's Liverpool, bro. Whether yeah. or not they've been struggling this season, yeah. that's Liverpool. So to me, it's like it's a great win. Does it surprise me? No, bro, it's solid all. again. Also, Holland, people yeah. comparing him to Andy Carabo. Yeah. This man got three hat tricks back to back at some point yeah. this season, not scoring not or fair. maybe not even having a great performance yeah. against Liverpool at their home field. Yeah, is yeah. not it's not the insane. End of the world. But at the same time, he's brand new to the Prem. He had an amazing start, but let's not call him a goat either. It goes both ways. No, no yeah, like, that's not, not. I'm not gonna lie. His start to no, the crazy, fucking season, but it's a start. Was crazy, but bro. the reason Ronaldo, Messi, enough. LeBron, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods are goats because they kept that shit going. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we're not yeah, saying he's the saying. greatest of all time, but yeah. I think we're saying like you no, can't, the you can't take a player that's no, been going bro. crazy and be like, oh, like he's, he's probably, shit no, because no, he had no. a bad It's match. jokes. It's definitely jokes. He's early Ballon d'Or favorite already, but big moments it matters. Like, let's see what happens. Seb, now. what you saying? Go this ahead, is just bro. a question. Like, do y'all like Holland? Like, as a player, fuck, like forget. His stats, forget yeah. his goals. Do you enjoy him as a I player? I do, because he's crazy. Do you? Like, he's do you crazy. like watching him? I, no. Here's the thing. No? <laughs> here's the thing. Not really. I will say no. But I don't, I don't enjoy watching him because aside from the actual goal, aside from the grit, aside from the aggressiveness, aside from the athleticism that it takes for Holland to score... Yeah. There's not much else to enjoy. Um, I think I respect his game. I respect, respect his work yeah, ethic. I respect how much. I respect the hustle. I respect hustle. how much he fights for every goal. But um, which is why, like, I prefer midfielders. Mm-hmm. I prefer yeah, wingers yeah, because mm-hmm, there's so. this when they're whether they're on or off the ball, you can you can get something more out of watching them. You I, know, I, pure strikers like Holland. I get. Oh yeah, you just pure yeah, goal. You I know, got, I got after you. What you saying? I will say though. His finishing is like oh. it's like that, bro. No, he's a like, sniper, he's, bro. Sniper. The season. goal he scored against Dortmund, like yeah, he's insane. scoring insane goals. So as insane. much as much as like he's not as flashy as some other players that we're talking about. Yeah, you gotta like you gotta enjoy his finishing. Yeah. Now you have to, bro. The, the um the goal where he had the game where he had the second hat trick in the world. Yeah, he had a ball from KDB sliding, yeah. sliding, bro, no, reaching different. for it. Yeah. Like he's scoring crazy goals. But to that yeah. point too. Yeah, you talking about bro the. The the assist from Kevin De Bruyne yeah. makes that yeah. the assist from Cancelo in the it Dortmund does. game. That's what that's what as a that's what excites me as a football that's fan. Like I, I see these yeah. passes and I'm like, yo, I think, yo, this I think is, the difference is 
because we play also and we yeah. know how yeah. difficult it is to feed somebody exactly. like but that. How difficult yeah. is it to score this many goals, bro? Because no one's not done true. it like this. I'm not taking you know nothing away from him in terms yeah. of pure aesthetic and entertainment. Yeah, I'm I'm not really putting him in. There. Yeah, I mean, pure aesthetics always going to be people on other parts of the pitch for the most part. Yeah, but um, just the way he scores these goals, like he's actually a savage, bro. No, he is. Yeah. Like, he we wants not, to rip you to shreds. Back-to-back hat tricks is very few. <laughs> nah, he's a dog. Crazy. Very few do that. Crazy. Like, that's Ronaldo Messi shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's how bad. And he's like, bro, if I don't score a goal a game on average, I'm not doing enough. He's a dog. So his mentality alone. <clears throat> yeah. So it, it, I agree. It's very much the singular moments of for when sure. he scores. But when he does, it's just such an eruption. Oh, you mm. Nah, for sure. I would say also the aura with the guy. Like, when you're a striker that is going to, like, defenders are scared of you. Yeah. When you're watching the game, it's just more of seeing him knowing that he's going to figure it out. Yeah. And so it's kind of like figuring out that puzzle piece. These more strikers, it's not just finishing. It's also the movement, which mm. I do appreciate seeing that. Um, but yeah, the guy loves goals. He's goal hungry. So I appreciate that. However, I am a link up play guy. I like my midfielders. Sure. I like tricks and skills. Beat your man. If you don't beat your man, you're not playing ball. Feel me? Said so what you're saying. Uh, no, like my question again is just like, do little kids buy his jersey? Is is he someone that like people then look up to? It's too early, he's but like, if his stats remain crazy, of course the kids will buy. He's I going. They, I think they will. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna lead you to a trophy, and like yeah. he's gonna be the guy. Because at the end of the day, the goal is what you know how you win the game. Speaking of trophies, Arsenal win a calm four points clear. Mm-hmm. Really gritty 1 0 victory over Leeds. Come on, soccer. Missed yeah, penalty. You know, crazy soccer finish with his weak yeah, foot. Yeah. Yeah. Missed penalty, questionable penalty, red cards, just VAR. Ah, tough away win. A gritty Arsenal away win 1 0 that you never see since they were yeah. last time they were in a title race. Mm. Four points clear, but still a very young team. Obviously, City are still probably favorites. How are we feeling about Arsenal actually having a little bit of a gap just to start? Arsenal so far? and trophy in the same uh, discussion is comical. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, Chanda, for you, my bro, we're going to clip that when y'all win something. That's what we're going to put. No, y'all could get it, but it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's just like, you know, that's that's a title winning win. Like, you, you look at teams that are like, it's okay, ugly, bro. Yeah, it's like, you got you to get that win. Figure it out. We've spoken about this before. You got to win the ugly You got to win the ugly games. They did that. And Arsenal <laughs> didn't used to do that. So now they're doing it. It okay. shows that like there's a mentality shift at the club. You finally, you finally found <laughs> like <laughs> you gotta win the ugly ones. Is crazy, Yo, bro. I'm sorry. So for those who don't know, I used to live in Philly. Jean means anything. It's just a noun. It can mean whatever. Wait, so like, wait, relax. Wait, wait, Go oh back God. to Seb. Yes, please. No, he, just he heard like, someone. Like, just <laughs> Seb, keep talking. I'm just saying that? like the um, the way that you need to win games that you would generally not win when you're not a title contending team has shifted in terms of mentality in the way that Arsenal is playing. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what type of, you know, interesting magic or wizardry Arteta is pulling that. off. Uh, you know, we can talk about uh, what Obama Yang said about him as a coach, <laughs> but it's working. You have to yeah. fucking, so, you have you know, to fucking do it, guys. Yeah. You have to yeah. fucking do it, guys. <laughs> it's working. I will say, it's not like my pops. I will say, um, I really hope that the hatred spewed by Jordan Henderson <laughs> fuels them to victory. You know what I'm saying? I will Excellent. say. I will say. Two, two BLM. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I mean, I, th- I think BLM. that. I think that. <laughs> BLM um, is corrupt, aren't they? No, no. The phrase, not the organization. Uh, bro, not the LLC. Damn, I man. thought BLM. Don't be Kanye now. BLM stole we'll talk about Kanye later. BLM is BMF. Blowing money fast. <laughs> Yo, we'll continue. the phrase and I the Oh my goodness. What crazy. other footy podcast are you going to find this on, bro? But it's the, the, I, I think I think the original question is what will Arsenal win the league? So we were talking about trophies. Four points clear. Four points, Four points clear. Next, next time. Um, next time. Next time. Four points clear. Trying. Shout out to Arsenal. Shout They're out doing Arsenal. great. Shout out Saka. Shout out Saka. Who's going to start for England and get them somewhere. Feel yeah, me? Somewhere. And speaking of the World Cup, bro, we have a lot of injuries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Reese James. Yeah. Out. Very unfortunate. Golo Kante. Golo Kante. Dybala, I believe. Mm-hmm. Di Maria. Di Maria is uh, confirmed? Yeah, I believe confirmed. so. Oh. Jota yeah. for Jota. Portugal. Damn. Yeah. Bro, yeah. the World Cup, tons of guys are out. Damn. A lot of people are talking about this super congested schedule ahead of the World Cup. Yeah, I didn't even know Madrid was playing today until today came. I'm like, how y'all playing again? You just played Sunday. Yeah. So do y'all Same. think this is directly aiding in the injuries or do you think For it's anything sure. else? I would add in to say when the World Cup's in the summer, you know, at the end of the season, only the teams that are competing for trophies are the ones still playing. Exactly. So you get to, you know, coast out, you know, obviously trying to win your games, whatever. Having it in the middle of the season, not nice. Yeah, it's hurt. It's, it's hurting. It's going to hurt the competition. For yeah. sure. And man. I think that... It's with a World Cup like this that's happening in Qatar, that's happening in the winter, there's 
so much that you need to go right because there's so much that's already wrong about it mm-hmm. from a football fan's yeah. perspective. Yeah. So if it's going to be, again, in Qatar, in the wintertime, with all the controversy that we've heard, not just controversy, the fact of the matter is there's been a lot of um, horrible things that have yeah. happened that are associated Humanitarian issues, no, humanitarian issues. Um, yeah. directly associated with Qatar and um, organizing this World Cup. So I feel like the least that we can have is as many stars as possible yeah, playing in this World Cup so that we can have an inter an entertaining competition so that we can have a competitive yeah. competition yeah. so that we can just enjoy the World yeah. Cup, bro. Like sure. there's so much that's that's bothering people about this already. Like, damn, can we have yeah. Reese James in the damn World Cup? Can we have yeah. the stars That's in right it? back in the world, yeah. That's I, all that we need. I will say, though, um, obviously not wishing injuries and pain upon anybody. Like, that's never good. But I do hope that, like, unfortunately, due to the injuries and, like, some of the, you know, all this things going wrong, I hope mm. that does create an environment where, like, players who normally wouldn't get play time can come through and show up big yeah. time. Or teams that normally don't get the shine or can't compete as much have an opportunity to shine during the World Cup. Yeah. So, um, one man's trash is another man's treasure. For uh, sure. Hopefully, like it gives younger players and players who normally That's don't get the same shine yeah. the opportunity to like step up and and make a name for themselves on the world's biggest stage. No, yeah. for sure, it'll expose depth um, within teams. But as you say, young players. Um, for instance, Abedi Pele, which is one of the greatest players for Ghana. Mm. Somebody got injured, he stepped in, mm. and that's how he became who he is. So we'll see. It'll we'll yeah. be exciting in that way. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah, and it just feels like, I mean, it's it's easy to get caught up in it too <clears> and <throat> say that because this is the current World Cup, the upcoming World Cup, yeah. that you know this player is getting injured, oh, this is the end of the world, oh my God, mm. we're missing so many guys. But this is every World Cup. Like, it, it happens yeah. every four years. People get injured. Look at Neymar got injured right before the last World Cup. So he got injured in the World Cup. That's yeah. 2014, bro. Yeah. Knee so, to the back. So I think Tragic that for, Barca, for Brazil. at yeah. the end of the day, yeah, there will be those players who step up. There will yeah. be those players who, who we wouldn't expect to shine, mm-hmm. who are going to shine. And that's... That's where the clubs go shopping for, you know, yeah. essentially. That's Hamish where to Madrid, you're like, that's the type of vibes, bro. For exactly. Sure. And yeah. that's why even Kayla Navas, you know, I think yeah, when they Tico. shine in the World Cup, yeah. big clubs go in for them and, mm. and, was, and do their shopping and scout around and find their next big stars. You for know? sure. So um, also, by the way, before we even go continue into the international stage, we yeah. got to talk about the biggest game, the biggest <sighs> club game this past weekend, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sad about it. But nah, we watched it together too. It yeah. was very respectful. Like Barca, well, yeah. Barca Madrid fans can be I'm friends. Not, feel yeah. me? There's no hate. Well, I'm not sad about it. Where y'all watch it? Was it Banter Bar? Banter, Banter. Shout Brooklyn. Out Banter, Banter, great vibe. Shout out, shout, shout out Banter. Banter. We're gonna talk about the sports shout betting these niggas was doing too. Shout out, me. shout out to Banter. But uh, FC Barcelona versus Real Madrid, also known as El Clasico, the biggest <sighs> game in Spain, one of the biggest matchups in Europe, and the biggest in. The biggest matchup. Let's be real. The biggest rivalry in sports. Period. Ooh. Mm. Debatable. Ooh. Well, no, no, we don't say right now, but it's one of them, for sure. In terms of viewership. No, one just everything. There. Everything. Because it's the world's favorite sport. It's the two biggest mm. clubs historically in the sport. True. It's not crazy it's to say argument. that's the it's biggest. Argument, yeah, it's an argument for sure. For sure. No, it's of course. Argument. Lakers, Celtics. I'm it's never disrespecting yeah. other sports. I love Bro, basketball. let us know. But, if you're somebody who yeah. watches different sports... Yeah. What's the biggest rivalry Ever. in sports? Nadal, Federer for my tennis people. Like, yeah. actually, let us know for real. Yeah. Celtics, Lakers, I think, is a big Lakers one. Lakers got cooked last night, bro. You was betting on Pat Bev <laughs> to get you bread. You Pat know how Beverly. crazy it is against Steph Curry? Nah, Pat Beverly. We got, Fresh off the got, ring, bro. We got beef, bro. I, I had him to get three assists. It's not that hard. Pat as a Beverly. Point. He's a point. Yo, the Lakers That's had not that Pat Beverly ISO last fouls. night. You know how crazy that he is? He had four fouls in the first half. It's Pat Bev Garden Sin on the what bench. What you think is going to happen? Nah, bro. Still. In the Bay? Yeah, nah. You crazy. We'll please, shout out the NBA. NBA's we'll back. Get, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll yeah, get so sure, please let sure. us know. Please let us know what your biggest, what do you think the biggest rivalries in sports are? But uh, El Clasico, Real Madrid won. Nothing new. Well, well deserved victory. I will say this. Although, any chance that I get, whether we win or lose, I got to find a way to find a positive. I'm not a negative Nancy. <sighs> mm. I'm not a negative Nancy. Mm. So I'm going to find a way to find the positives in a Barca L. Nigga said negative Nancy. Listen, we got, we had, 
more possession. Ooh, we had ooh. more. Mm-hmm. more the favorite bar slam when they lose. We had we, more we possession, the ball more times. I know the scoreboard, <laughs> like we <laughs> lost, but we we kicked the ball to each other more times. Okay, Ticket yeah, no, enjoy that. Enjoy that shit, bro. It's cute. Is the game, is the game not entertainment? Okay. There's no entertainment going side to side while you down 2 nil. What are you talking about? <laughs> so why doesn't your team do it? First of all, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. It's entertaining that they can do it. Your team don't do it. Nah, it was entertaining. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to give you your props and say you won. I'm not saying Wait, nothing against. So I'm not now say- Madrid can't hold possession. I'm not saying <laughs> nothing nice about that. Right. I'm just saying that there's a reason why Clay Thompson is going to get in the press conference and talk about the fact that the Warriors are emulating the Tiki Taka from Barcelona. Stir. No, 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 no. That's because started, that's because that's 2015. Be, that's now, because they started that in 2015. That's because yes, their style of play is entertaining. That's because being able to hold possession, bro. Elisha. Look at the Elisha. sequences of but football club Barcelona. Elisha, Elisha. I agree. I like you. I, I agree with you, bro. I, I'm a Spanish fan. Spain Spain won the World Cup because Barcelona was at their best era ever. I'm forever grateful. I'm talking about Barca in 2022. <laughs> I'm talking about Barca in 2022. Not 2016, not 2017, not 2011, not 2009. Shout out to this amazing kid. Shout out Samuel Eto. You feel me? Shout out Samuel. all of that. I'm talking about 2022. Barca Tiki Taka right now is side to side passes that lead to nothing. Tiki Taka, when they was wearing this jersey, was cooking your favorite team for fun, including my team. But who did they have? Who did they have? I'm talking about who 2022, no, 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 bro. No, 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 y'all spent a lot of money this year. Who month. did? I'm not yeah. saying. I'm not. Oh, bro, a lot of money. Yeah. Spending a lot of <laughs> spending a lot of money doesn't mean that you actually have great players. Here's what I'm saying, Manchester. Bro. You can't, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Listen, hear me out. 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 Y'all gonna hear me out? Y'all gonna hear me out? Because I'm about to pass this over to you right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How much money? We don't clip that. Clip that. Because what? Because what? Money doesn't mean we have the best players. It doesn't. Oh my god. Listen to me. Okay, so y'all wanna let me talk? Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Listen, oh, listen, my boy. How much money yeah. did Manchester United? Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. How much money did United pay? For sure. How much money did United pay for their most expensive, no, no, no. expensive defender? How much did they pay for him? About, uh, how much was it for Harry boy? Maguire? How much, did, Manch- how much did Manchester United pay for Harry Maguire? Oh, I got you, my man. Where are we going with this? The pressure is worse than it. The pressure is getting worse. Let's go. Yo, how much did they pay for that game? Look how he's acting. Wait, how much did they pay for him? Was it 90 mil or 100 mil? Like about 90 to 100 mil. For a fact, and I will say what Eli's point is getting at is that bread does not equal chemistry, doesn't equal like, you know, getting the system out on the pitch. Yeah. But we got a Chelsea support in the room who knows about... Who knows oh, about putting up big bread? Because acting like I'm crazy, bro. No, Please, we doing well. We doing well. No, no, but you know, putting up big bread, throwing our managers, doing whatever the fuck you want to do. No, I'm yeah. saying. Uh, I don't know how we ended up at Chelsea, <laughs> bro. <laughs> buddy, All buddy, y'all niggas are deflecting. You lost on nah, Sunday, bro. Nah, Period, bro. bro, bro I lost on Sunday, but my team still played well. Go on, go on, Josh. My team played well. Go on, Josh. Patient trophy. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. City girls. Go on. Oh, Josh. Josh, go crazy. Crying, son. Nah, but for real though, money doesn't equate everything. However, putting up bread to invest in your club is something that fans want to see the return in. Football be a rough industry. We're talking about how people are judged off of one game. Like this is a very fast paced industry. Things are changing all the time. So yeah. just keeping that in mind. I will say one thing about Barca that is interesting is just the fact that Xavi himself did say that if they wanted to sack him, he would oh. understand, which is very telling and interesting. Granted, the percentage like that he's won hasn't been like it's been shit. Could I speak but, to that percentage real bro, quick? Well, you get, keep going, but I'm going to finish with that. I, but I, I will say, as a football fan, hey, bro, listen, I want Javi to do well for you guys. I will say that, personally. Facts. Thank you. Thank You know, I... Thank you. So, Xavi, Xavi, <laughs> who, by the way, I'm going to repeat again, as a player, arguably, if not the greatest midfielder of all time, ah. helped Spain win... Whoa. 2008 <laughs> Euro Shit. Cup, 2010 World Cup, 2012. Shaky. So as a Madrid fan, I got to fuck with a lot of Barca Shaky shit. Statements. Shaky. But now let me tell you, shout out, Bleacher, shout out Bleacher Report, your people over there, you know what I'm saying? So they saying that, Chill, so Chill. they saying that Xavi's got a 56% win rate, which is the worst of any Barca coach with 50 plus games, not a small sample size, you know, shout out <laughs> statistical methodology and shout all that. Ronald 50 Coleman. plus games, you get me? Shout out Ronald Coleman. Since 2001. We're in 2022, almost 2023. So that's 20 plus years. Two decades. He has the worst times. win percentage. 
this is not an mm-hmm. anti Barca podcast. So should yeah. he? So should he stay? Um, all I gave all I gave was facts. Those were all facts. I guess, let me say boy. something while you get your statements. I personally would like managers to have more time. I agree. In I general, agree. like granted, you know, bring it back to Chelsea FC, their club <laughs> culture where they're tossing managers left, right. It's not nice. We don't bro. like Chelsea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but it's like, bro, like actually let someone. For me, get I will this see. squad, get this squad that they want, because we actually, you know, if you look at the history of sports, mm-hmm. players are moving a lot quicker, all that type of stuff. But you actually need time to develop what you want, for sure. And that's a different type of pressure, bro. You step in one, two seasons, you're supposed to make something happen. That don't work. I will say, yes, Chelsea has been getting rid of managers left and right, but and I don't, I don't like it either. Obviously, I want people to have the time, but yeah. Chelsea's been a consistently top four team. Yeah, yeah. and so it as works, much as, yeah. as as much as it's like it's unfortunate <clears throat> and the pressure's insane. It gets results, no, and that's no, why no. the the big Russian dude upstairs was yeah, firing, orchestrating that, firing yeah. people. That's not nah. yeah. Same with Real Madrid. Gets too, results. Bro. Yeah, it's crazy. We got rid of Ronaldo. Yeah. Like we still won the chance. Like yeah, sometimes yeah, I, you gotta get rid of shit. Yeah. I would say I think that whether they're doing well or not, yeah. I would like to see Barca keep him and see it through. Yeah, because we understand, bro. I understand that my team is not gonna win. All the time. We haven't been winning a lot in years. You know, it's been shaky. Yeah. And I really feel like we've been hanging on by a thread trying to get back to That's the, the standard to that Barca. Right here, we trying to, to get right back here. to this. Because them boys was cooking everybody, but, including my but, team. But the thing is that when I watch, when I still see things like the possession being higher, when I still see the succession of passes, I appreciate that because <laughs> not everything is going wrong. If everything was failing for Barca, I would really be like, bro, Xavi, what, what, what are you on? doing in the team? Yeah. But if certain things are going right, if I feel like on the, on the technical side yeah. that the players are still fluid, that the players don't look like they're scared of holding the ball, <laughs> but just the tactics are not trumping the other teams, Real Madrid is just better than Barca right now. Period. Like I can't, I can't say nothing about hey, that. You saw his but face. They are, they are. Can't That's the truth, boys. Bro. That's the truth. But at the end of the day, yeah, I'm not going, bro. I'm not going to sit there and watch Barca every week and be depressed about the fact that we're not winning mm-hmm. when there are certain things that are still going right. That's why I'm saying we need better defenders. Yeah. We need PK. PK to come on, bro. PK needs to stop acting like Christ the Redeemer. For we sure. need. We just need Christ a stronger team. Yeah. Barca also. We, we know that they can get the money somewhere. We know that they can sell shares. They could do a Spotify sponsorship. Don't Europa League. Bro, if they can, they'll, they'll rename their stadium oh, to the Twitter wait, 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 arena wait. or whatever. Oh, but we know that they can get the money. They need to invest Twitter that arena. much amount of money yeah. into players that can actually help them. And we can even get into the whole Spotify thing and For OVO sure. and Drake because they ended up wearing the... The OVO logo on shout their jersey OVO, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for uh, El Clasico. Mm. Um, sh- shout out to Drizzy for shout reaching. Shout out Dre, you being the saying? first, being the first artist to reach for 50 sure. billion streams yeah. on Spotify. Clap it up! It's a big thing. Because y'all niggas got thing. a lot of hate for Drizzy. It's a big thing. 50 billion streams is crazy. Nobody Facts. hates him, bro. It's nah, y'all be hating. A lot y'all of all them little jokes until we in a spot and you singing along to a song. Do do that I again. I saw you at Skinny Cantinas, bro. Don't play with do me. Do that with your hands. What's the song? Nobody nobody you again. What's the song you did? What's the song you did with your hands? He said, I seen you singing Drake. I see you drinking. I see you singing Drake. Every time, honestly, I like Drake music. You mean like light skin? Anyways, anyways, I will say for me, OVO on the kit is wavy. It shows just you know what I'm saying the mesh of football and um music. It's not just wavy. Oh. It's wavy footy. Come on, hey, come on. Hey, 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 come on. on. Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, all of that. Good TikTok, shot. you know Good the vibes, shot. baby. Love, my boy. Come on, Your favorite, you brands, know. favorite brand, don't play with us. No, I love it. I loved yeah, it. I think it was, a, it was a dope moment. Yeah. Shout out to Drake, obviously. Like, at, at this point, it's undeniable. The Drake but curse I, is crazy, though. But I feel like, again, it's... It would have been nice to have a moment like that and also see Barca win. <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously, that's not what happened. But, yeah, I think it was a great moment of... Subcultures yeah. mixing overall, okay. and yeah, it was it was it was a good little moment for Barca. Mm-hmm. The Drake curse though does continue. For those who don't know, whoever Drake supports loses every time, except yeah. Arsenal. Every single time, Arsenal we'll is shit. So, yeah, but <laughs> Arsenal won more money on the other game, so like, yeah. So about you? speaking about you know various brands and the collaborations, yeah. I kind of wanted to ask you as a Real fan. Um, yeah. we saw Benzema with the um his hand brace and what's going on with Adidas yeah. and that. Could you just explain a little bit about 
what that collab and what that brand is looking like in terms of how you saying Benzema's, Adidas or his, yeah. why his hand is like that? why his hand is like that yeah. why Adidas has given him such a big highlight in For terms sure. of the the glove around his hand. So. so Benz took a fall, I believe, a few years ago against a team. That's why one of his fingers is completely fucked up, and he wears the bandage. I believe it might be the pinky. I believe it's it's either the pinky or the ring finger. Mm. He put that on and scored six goals in four games, and was like, yo. This shit might be a little bit of a good luck charm. So he kept it on and he just kept playing. He's become the player that he is today. And every single offseason, he's actually foregone surgery because he doesn't want to miss any bit of time. It's about that so he just kept it on. It's been his good luck charm and it's been the best moments of his career ever. So are you saying that his finger has been broken for like over two years? Literally, yeah. His finger has been broken for over two years. So when he pulled up to the Ballon d'Or, obviously no hand wrap on. His finger is like that joint is just twisted out. Yeah, and he's My kept it like, like that, that to that avoid too. surgery. Puts his little hand wrap on, scores on your favorite team. That's what he does. It's crazy. <laughs> and they say soccer players are soft. Come on, G. You know? Come my on. finger, my finger got jammed like that too. Playing you be, soccer, you, be tight, you can't right? really see it, but my middle finger it has like it's crooked as fuck. Girl. Yeah, put that away. And it was like, <laughs> nah, for real. Somebody, put that away. somebody. Meanwhile, I saw Marcus Smart and Joel Embiid flopping on each other yesterday. Yeah. So don't talk about footy players like that. Hey, Thank yo. you very much. What do you mean by that, bro? Flopping sports flopping. Next, Relax. Next, why do you? Next, why? Okay, let's. Next. Why? <laughs> like, why do you? Bro, Anyways. just to speak about real quick, because we talked, we touched on a lot of um, the past matches, the big matchups. Uh, we know Kendrick lost some money on United. I lost some money because of United. Yo, my blood is boiling. Sports betting is dangerous, but my blood but, is boiling. Yes, to that point, it's like we look ahead to Champions League. We look ahead to the rest of the season, to the World Cup, and we have all these, uh, all these. Like all these things that we say that is gonna happen, this team is gonna win, that team is gonna win, this player is gonna score. Mm. We think that Holland was supposed to score versus Liverpool. For sure. So the the presence of sports betting has been a lot more prevalent lately. For yeah, sure. For especially sure. in in football. It just came to New York. Yes. So a lot of people have been getting into it. World Cup's about to be crazy. But yeah, so how do y'all feel about that coming into the game? Because we've seen how football fans could kind of be reluctant to to accept you know, more things mm -hmm. with the game and with mm -hmm. the culture. We've mm -hmm. seen how they felt about VAR. So how do y'all feel about sports betting actually becoming a thing? And do you think that's going to hurt the culture of the game? I mean, FanDuel just got his hands in niggas' pockets. So OD. if your pocket, if your pockets are small, just be wary. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say two things. Uh, one, I was really reluctant to get into betting because I know like once I get into something, <laughs> I get trapped. This guy sound like an addiction. My, addiction bro, it, commercial. Is, it is. Um, my coworkers. Put the sad music Stop over it. it. My coworkers. Get some help. Yeah. yeah exactly. My coworkers recently got me into FanDuel. Um, and I'll say one, it's like a cool way to like keep up with sports with your friends. For sure. Um, but I will say it's it's dangerous. Um, and I think I think it also created like a level of uh, appreciation, honestly, for a footy, like a new level of appreciation. Yeah. Because one, it makes me look forward to like certain matches more. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I'm about to turn ten dollars into three thousand dollars. Um, and two, inshallah, yeah, <laughs> inshallah. And you know two, that. because it like sometimes when you see a match and you're like, oh, I'm not even gonna pay attention to that match because it's like, for example, this weekend, United versus Newcastle. I was like, oh, United's been, you know, they've had good matches. They got all the players. I'm a bet on United. Like, I don't even need to watch it. But it was on in the corner of the bar. Banter bar. Shout out banter. You know, 80 minutes in, it's, it's zero zero or whatever. And now I'm like, El Clasico's on, Arsenal's on, Chelsea's on, but I'm watching United. You know what I'm saying? And it's because, like, I have an investment in it. And so, in one way, it gets me watching matches that I wouldn't otherwise match. I mean, otherwise watch. Mm -hmm. um, and in another way, it, it makes me appreciate the fact that, like, football is unpredictable as fuck. Facts. Like, yep. Yep. <laughs> you think something's going to happen, but... Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's the main takeaway, the unpredictability yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, betting betting on sports is like being a day trader, bro. It's like you that's really real. feel that's like that's an deep. amazing comparison. It's bro. like for you real, you real. feel like you have an investment in it for real because, bro, just the having that incentive, that possible incentive of putting in five dollars and right. then it's taking away ten k or like it's even crack. like a thousand dollars. Like what? Especially when you've seen people win when you've won too. Like it's just you can't you can't stop it. But yes, do bet. If you're of age, if you're somebody who is into sports betting, do bet responsibly. Shout out to all the betting platforms all, who yeah. do tell you 
um, when you've been on the platform a little too long who kind of give you that that warning that, yo, it's been a while, <clears throat> maybe step away from it a little bit because we know that that's a real issue and people do, nah, really you sure. know, yeah. get addicted. For and sure. so definitely, just like we say, drink responsibly. For sure. Drink bet responsibly. responsibly also. And Vibe responsibly. Yeah. Yeah. FanDuel going to get me out the hood. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> Fanduel funded. Listen, yeah, let's make yeah, it happen. Yeah. Fanduel, let's make you it know happen. The app, five side partner. Absolutely, platforms. and yeah, we touch on a lot of things today. But as you know, to all our loyal auditors and viewers, mm -hmm. all of you Come who on. watch us, who listen to us, and who tap in with Five Aside, we'd like to have y'all involved into the conversations also we love to hear you guys' perspective you guys' questions sure. and comments keep it going and just keep that conversation going yeah. absolutely and so oh can i say one thing real quick for sure of course speaking on the fan duel tip my instagram is tagged in all the videos <laughs> yeah, yeah. please if you got some good slips <laughs> like DM me, bro. Like, help, help don't, the parlays, don't be, bro. Don't be prideful. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Don't be prideful. The way be looking at Kendrick, you that's my slip, favorite part of this whole send podcast. Send it to me, please. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to click this my too. Favorite this is going on my page. Podcast. If you have a good slip and you're confident in it, you putting up 20, you putting up 30, you putting up 50, you putting up 100, send it to Kendrick. I'm no saying. facts. Because I need Kendrick. some help. We could have, yeah, we could have a public here, <laughs> we could have a public IG group chat bro, just yeah. for bet slips, bro. Put me and Eli in it. Facts. Yeah. Like, if your parlays, if your parlays be hitting, if your parlays be hitting, send that over help, here. Help us we need it. Help a brother out. Facts. Mm. Five aside Discord. Five aside Discord is coming. Yo, yes. That's a fact. Um, Patreon, Patreon recommendation. All that. That's coming. Yes. Patreon Patreon Kendrick too. Kendrick said, let's get this bread together. Absolutely. Yeah, please. Absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Please. Absolutely. We can all win. We can Why all not? win. Why not? Why not? Why hold the parlays and the bet slips Why? to yourself when you can have your favorite podcasters your win favorite with you? Because guess what? If it's FanDuel funded, if mm. it's sport betting funded, yeah. Five aside is leveling up. Come you know on. what I'm saying? We, we get to move. bring more to you guys. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, get yeah. to, yo, listen. More giveaways. Who know? More giveaways. Listen, that Patreon's about to be crazy. I'm more saying. prizes. <laughs> more prizes. So definitely tap in with us. Yeah, and so. yeah, to that, to that point also, all good. We going to get to the comments, get to the questions. Shout out to, first of all, Shout out to um, everybody who's watching overseas, obviously. Clap it up. Yes, yes, yes. Clap it up. To everybody who's watching overseas. Um, special shout out to SXXPS underscore who says um, straight from South Africa. Watching Come on. Some from South Africa. So shout out to you for sure. Shout out also, to Piano. we don't have a question from him for this episode, but we got to give a special shout out to Titus. Shout out X Titus. Kenny. Shout, shout out Titus, Titus man. man. Big shout out to Titus. Titus going crazy in the comments. Titus going crazy. Titus, we flying you out, bro. Titus, no, I'm being so Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's just okay. Let's the budget. I don't know if the budget supports that yet. When the FanDuel gets there, when the FanDuel gets there, we come out, bro. When the Ciroc sponsorship, yeah. When it gets there, Khaled and Puff, you know, yeah. When it gets there, let's be careful. God damn, we don't want to just make promises. No, no, we find everything now. Shout out to Titus. That's how we feel. That might not be what we could do. Yeah. True. That's, 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 that's the love that we conditions have. Conditions and terms, terms and conditions yeah, apply. May Man apply. But manifestation, you know what I'm saying? Shout read out. read yeah, the yeah. fine prints <laughs> for sure. But shout out to Titus and everybody Big else. Titus, bro. That's the energy that we pull up with when somebody actually like shares our content, shares us on social media, uh, watches the episode, comments, and interacts with us. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Thank sure. you for the constant support. Um, but Let's get to some other comments. We have Moise Gone says, what is your favorite kit uh, your team or national team has ever had? I'm guessing that's your clubs or your national yeah, team. One. What's your favorite kit? We want to start with. I can so, go. You got it? Yeah. Are you both? Straight off the top, Inter Milan. Ew, um, what the hell? They say the your, club, your, say your club, club, though. Your club. My favorite kit Jesus is the Christ. Inter Milan kit. I know, but they're okay. asking you about like Chelsea or My Haiti favorite shit. kit okay. is the Inter That's Milan the kit. This guy's disgusting, honestly. With the, with the blue snake wrapped around it. From last fire. year? Yeah, that kit was nuts, bro. I've never seen a kit no, like that. No, that shit is fire. Snakes and nuts. Yeah. But okay. based on... Oh, no, continue, just, continue. Yeah, not to stop. Anyways, um, I don't even know, but I actually really love Real Madrid's away purple zigzag jersey this year. And Spain's away World Cup jersey. It's very wavy, literally, but a bunch of light. But it looks like audio waves going across the chest. I'm about to cop that for the World Cup. So yeah. I'm going to go with the, the shit from this year. That's valid. I don't remember the year, but Ghana had a yellow kit. Um, I believe Puma might have been on it. Tough. It was classic. It was tough, very, tough, very tough. vintage. Um, United has had a lot of 
wavy kiss. I'm trying to. 2008 know. United. Oh, AIG. With AIG? Come on, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I on. know. I was there with y'all. AIG. Come on. Shout out AIG. Favorite kit? Um, from your team. From AC Milan, I would say my favorite kit might be the gold one. Crazy. The, the famous photo of Balotelli, like shushing the crowd with like the gold. Come on. Um, Italy, I think it's the uh, Renaissance kit that they made with Puma a few years ago, yeah. where it's like, it's like, um, it looks like the ceiling of like an Italian villa. It's like all these like designs and stuff on it. My thing. It's uh, like a dark green color. It's such a cool kit. And then I think my favorite kit of all time might be either Venice's kits recently have been insane, but maybe Japan's old kits too Japan with the fire too. sleeve. We Shout out Japan, ready. bro. These, those kits are insane. I was so. going to say, if you if y'all look at um Seb C, there's a Cameroon kit. Cameroon was the only, only country to have the sleeveless ones. Yeah, Come on, sleeve was, that's ooh, crazy. That was Shout sick. out Serena Cameroon Williams wearing that shit too. So that was, sick. That was yeah. hard. That, that was, hard, was absolutely but. sick. I'm going to say my favorite... Barca kit has to be this one right here, 08, 09. And not just because- It's one of one for real. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a special one. That team was insane. But also because this has a special significance for me because um, Kobe back in the days did a photo shoot oh, with yeah. ESPN yeah, he did. wearing this kit. And I actually like did a recreation of that photo shoot too mm, after Kobe tough, passed bro. RIP to the Black Mamba. RIP. And Mamba forever. Yeah, that's just that. He's somebody that, you know, I- listen to a lot and who I tried to get a lot of game from and a lot of advice from. I watch all his interviews and, you know, someone whose mentality is definitely admirable. And so, yeah, the fact that he, he had the love for Barcelona to pull up and have a whole shoot with that and seeing how much fun he had creating that was just, was just dope, man. Like a dope team, um, a dope player from another sport coming and supporting us yeah. makes it that much special, man. Shout out Kobe, bro. Whole ass footy sure. ambassador. Like literally f- a footy ambassador for Barcelona. Absolutely. One of the GOATs. RIP to the GOAT, man. RIP, Mama man. mentality forever, for sure. And uh, let's get to <coughs> one more comment. Aesthetic football says, Fede Valverde. That is all. Yo, let me do real quick. I'm going to be very fast. Fede Valverde is starting in any midfield in the world right now. If y'all don't watch Real Madrid, that's your own L and you don't know how nice he is. He can do whatever you want in the center midfield, whether it's a short pass, the long pass. He can play right wing, cook your favorite defender. Mm -hmm. He can occupy the space or he can pass it out to the person who's in space. He can track back on right back. He's banging in goals from distance for fun. He did it in El Clasico. He did it again today. A left foot volley out the air with the weak foot. (laughs) Top corner (laughs) for fun. (laughs) He's like 23. Cold. He's actually different. He's cold. He's super different. Got five league goals already. He can do whatever you want on the entire pitch. Super athletic. Works his ass off. Super (laughs) humble. He's different. Nothing else to say. No facts. Watch him run. Bro, he's actually sprinting for 90 minutes. He's cold. He's on your ass, bro. bro. No, that's not. It's actually not. He's... 90 minutes sprinting. He's an average, average midfielder. Yeah, he's an average midfielder. That's yeah, why I 15 was, games, 13 wins. Come. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, nil-nil I, against Bradford. If that, y'all had him, you might have won. It's cold. I think that yeah. he's Enjoy cold. That, bro. He's cold for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but he he still has a lot to prove. Of course. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's cold. And we're going to have to see how he progresses. I'm not I'm not going to gas Game him up. Game winning assist in the Champions League uh, final, by the way. Had Trent and Van Dyke twerking. Fuck you talking about. All Anyways. I say, all I say about Valverde is that he's definitely a coach's dream. So Coach having a player that could like play in that many spots in the midfield, so and world class too at every position, he's different. <laughs> nah, keep going, bro. He's different. <laughs> shout out to. Shout but out I know a lot of y'all don't even watch La Liga, but you have all the comments. But eh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't shout out to that. Abri Science who says this is this is a this is a good compliment. Shout out Abri. That's Abri, the homie. You feel me? <laughs> Abri Science says y'all voices are smooth and perfect Come for on, podcasting. Man. I don't even watch soccer, but I tap in. Hey, come on, listen. Shout out, shout out Avery. Avery. That's the homie. Come on. Hey, Avery. shout out to everybody who's... Hold on, I got to do this right. Shout out to everybody who's listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. We appreciate you for tapping in with Five Aside. Yes, sir. Thank but if you. I did yeah. that, yeah. but if Late. I did that, oh, yeah. what y'all be saying? Late night with Eli. If I, if Late I night. did that Late. same segment, yeah. y'all would We're going to put the what? little sax it's yeah. in the background. Late night with Eli. Bro, if though. I did that same segment Come right on. now. Come on. Listen, you got to, bro. We got to put the Kenny you? G's in the background. You know what I'm saying? Shout Just out Kenny little, G. Yeah, shout out Kenny, man. But... Yeah, um, thank you guys so much for submitting all your questions. Definitely keep tapping in, keep commenting, keep um, submitting your questions, whether you're coming from Spotify, from Apple Podcasts, whether you're coming from the socials or YouTube. We appreciate you. We love you. And we're going to keep 
putting your comments in the in the podcast and interacting with you guys. We appreciate you And we'll you get a lot. back to some of those. Y'all sent a, a ton. Sure. We got a long pod today, but we won't yes. get back to some of those, I promise. Absolutely. Sure. But for yeah, sure. you guys have been going crazy and <clears throat> we, we appreciate y'all. Um, as always, <sighs> we have to do a fit breakdown because again, five aside, Five Aside is the flyest football podcast out there. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't it's just dress undeniable. Like us, bro. It's just undeniable. For so sure. we got to do a fit breakdown. We're going to start up start with youngest in charge, as always. Come what on. you got on? We got the Belize Pumas. Mm-hmm. Are, How know, many Pumas you got, bro? You pumas out all, all of, of them. them. Sponsor me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> no, we got the Belize Pumas, um, some minimal pants, and then I believe it's the 2002 or 2003 uh, Portugal training kit uh, for that the year. And he was you born in old three. That's calm. That's birthday shit. I don't even know about all that. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Yeah. Beautiful colors. Yeah. Beautiful colors. Shit, shout out, hard. shout out, Figo and all them, Deco and that. Yes, Thanks. sir. Uh, Palace T. Shout out Palace. Uh, Cap- collab in Gucci. London. Um, oh, my shout out to Palace for the Palace Gucci collab. That's come on, crazy. We it's literally insane. just was talking about high fashion footy kit at streetwear. Come yeah, on, we just got it. Facts. it Somebody caught me that kit. It's probably like ten thousand dollars. Come on, um, Savant Studios, Speak on Brooklyn it. brand Dang. on the sweats. Uh, some calm dunks, keeping it comfy. What's on the socks, my boy? Oh, daily paper. DP on it <laughs> And the dunk's not calm They got a, a the Really nice camel print on it You know what I'm saying You see that in person That shit is very fly Very cozy For sure I'm saying yeah, Comfy yeah. comfy Cozy boys What comfy we wearing boys. Elisha what, Listen, what we wearing bro I got, What's on today I got on the feats We got the Air Max Plus Nike Air Max Plus Go All black Shout out Skeptos Yes yeah, sir We got the uh, this brand is called Wolf W O O L F. Shout out Wolf. Side, Tactical. Side. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Wolf. We'll get to that next episode. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? Kim Possible. Yeah, Kim Possible. Shout out Kim Possible. Shout out Kim Possible. Shout out Possible. Shows. We, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go see it for yeah. sure. But yeah, and we got, of course, the 09, 08, 09 Barcelona <laughs> home kit. You feel me? You little got ice the, on the wrist. Come on. A little brr on the wrist. A little <laughs> brr I'm around freezing. the neck. That's why I'm sure, but next to him. A God little damn. brr, a little freddy. A little, <laughs> a little freddy. <laughs> if you know, you know. Ça fait froid. Yeah, if you know, ça fait froid. J'ai froid. Oh, brr. J'ai froid. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just Multilingual. Some, multilingual. Just, uh, you feel me? You feel me? We, we, we speak it all. We speak Come it all. Espanol, Francais, Creole. Ya tu baby. Yeah, que lo que. All that. But ah, my boy, Kilo what you got K. on? I might had to hit him with the designer. So we got the Alexander nah, McQueen no on the feet. You know what I'm saying? Big <laughs> bands with the Ballon d'Or. We got to keep it very, very drippy. I cop these on Fifth Ave. I walked in the store myself with my sister, <laughs> sipping Perrier, buying these joints. Sorry if you don't got them. Minimal <laughs> LA on the pants. Whoa. Always got to be minimal LA on the pants. Minimal. Whoa. If y'all don't sponsor me, you playing yourself. You feel me? Wow. Can you guess the brand on the jacket? Oh, what? The brand is guess. Oh. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? A very cozy <laughs> turtleneck because it's getting cold <laughs> in New York, bro. It's below 50 degrees. It got to be very cozy in the turtleneck. This guy bro. writes Wait, all You his know, stuff, we bro. always got to have some jewelry out here. The pearls, the white pearls. Shout out Real Madrid, oh. Los Blancos, Ya Tu Sabes. Just, you know, it's very calm with the shades, too. <laughs> Feel me? I got two pairs because I'm too much. My team's too much. <laughs> Um, nah, I don't know what else right to now. say, bro. He's spitting is, right and, now. And, I, and again, once again, this is still very calm. I'm not even going crazy yet. Oh Quaz, it's all on you, bro. Nah, that's His cool. DMs are I open. It. Yeah. Nah, wow. nah they're closed now. My son, my son gave fitted. So on oh the T, <laughs> on the T is beautiful struggles. Feel me? Beautiful struggles on the socks as well. Beautiful struggles. Yeah, beautiful yeah, struggles. Yeah. struggles. Shout out to Danny bro. Huh? Beautiful struggles on the jersey. On the jersey right next oh, to you, yeah, too. Yeah, beautiful yeah. struggles. Black Lives Matter. Come on, please. sir. Come on, you can yes, see Yes, sir. That. We got that. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Put I'm that saying. shit on. Shout out USL. Shout out, shout out Danny Williams for me, German American, <laughs> doing his thing for Beautiful Struggles. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just calm for me. Got Nike Sweats, got Air Forces. You know what I'm saying? Michael Kings on the feet. Classic kicks. Come, come on. on. Uptown. You know calm ting. Calm yeah, ting. Yeah, yeah, White ups. On. Yes, sir. Uptown's baby. New York City, baby. But yeah. Um, yeah, speaking of New York City, too. You know what I'm saying? I We got a... New York is home to a lot of amazing artists. We got to do... What our soundtracks are right you. now, what music we're listening to right you. now. I got a shout out. I've been heavy on a lot of local uh, <clears throat> New York City artists who are, in my opinion, um, gonna be future stars for sure. But I've been I've been heavy on Memoir. Y'all gotta check him out. Based in uh, Pennsylvania right now, but from Brooklyn. Shout out to Memoir. Shout out to uh, Angie Lolo. You know what I'm saying? Just got her own is a banger. That's that's been heavy on my playlist right now. Uh, shout out to Divine Lotus. Just like bro, just think modern day 
um, just think modern day Sade type thing. You Ooh. know, she's she's definitely cold. Okay. It's high claim. That's shout my out, that's yes, my vibe, for bro. sure. My shout out to Divine yeah. Lotus. Uh, shout out to LaFloss Marv. Just Haitian Brooklyn drill. Also, just fire, man. That, out, yeah, man. that's what I've been tapping in with lately. Can I put a little spin on it before we go? For sure. Yeah. Um, shout out to Instagram for the rumors that they're going to be adding like theme song music to your IG page. So can we go around and say like what song or what artist would be our theme Start with on you, our sir. Instagram page? Throwing it back to MySpace. Hmm. For sure. Shout out to um, You know, I'm well before my, well, well after MySpace. So I don't really know how that worked. But uh, <laughs> we don't know either, bro. Oh, we okay. just heard from all the siblings and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just, I think maybe probably a Cole song. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Definitely something off Forest Hills Drive. That's my favorite album. Um, yeah, probably Wet Dreams, one of those. Like, <laughs> it's a good song. I did not expect Ain't that. Ain't no way I that I want to buy your t-shirt and I got to hear Jet Cole rap about his high school sweetheart. There's no way, song. bro. It's a good song. <laughs> Yo. I'm saying I, I just saw Cole in concert, but like, damn, bro. Why you say Wet Dreams? Anyways, Kenny. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Mine is like a similar theme. Not Jet Cole, but <laughs> Yo, what's going on? mine would be uh, Prince Swanee. He dropped an album recently. He got a song called Love It on there. And that joint is just sexy as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like when, when you visit my Instagram page, I want you to feel sexy. <laughs> and I want you to look at my pictures and be like, this nigga is sexy. Bro, if I was saying this? And if that's the vibe, like we're good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, so. No, that's fair. That's funny as I feel like that's I gotta, fair. I feel like, <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like I got to stay on topic. You know what I'm saying? We talking about wet dreams. We talking about feeling sexy. NSG, hold on. First off, I'm going to give you our footy bar of the week. Let's get it. Uh -huh. Prepare this time. <laughs> NSG said, Plug said he's friends, so we call him Trezeguet. You remember Ooh, David Trezeguet? Streets know Trezeguet. Shout out, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Streets know Trezeguet. Trezeguet. You know, you Shout know. out the French ballers. The name of the song is Nyash. Oh, Nyash. Would you die for Nyash? Titus, don't die for Nyash, bro. No, don't, don't die for Nyash. Yo, can you do a translation for I those was, who don't know what Nyash is, bro? Nyash. Hmm. Nyash is bunda. But talk, but talk. <laughs> I'll, die, I'll die for Nash bro. Ass, whatever, sure, you, like, whatever you like Whatever you like But I'm just staying on topic You know what I'm saying yeah, If no, we I'm staying with these kind of vibes Shout out Tone Stith Who I met during New York Fashion Week Mad cool dude mm. um, Heavy on the R&B vibes I Don't Wanna Amazing song We just trying to get Shorty to come over Amazing track I gotta go with that Be like that That's it's, a fact That's a like fact that. And I'll say to close it out If I had a theme song Or something to put on my profile I think I would go with uh, Nipsey Hustle YG. Last time that I checked, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it was flying chains on my neck. You see, you see what it is. Change the whole vibe. But we love live that song. Yes, sir. We we we, we live we live the music out here. But sure. yeah, man. Um, we appreciate all of you for tuning in with us. Whether sure. again you're listening on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, whether you're watching us on YouTube, we appreciate you lots. We love you. Thank you for tuning in with love. us. Make sure you like. Make love, sure you subscribe. Yo. Make sure you love. share. Make sure you, yo, tell your grandma about us. Tell your aunties about tell us. Your tell grandma, your grandma, tell your mama, tell your auntie, your cousins, tell your sister. Your pets, cousins, snakes, dogs, neighbor, like whoever. Everybody. Tell them about Five Aside. <laughs> we love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Tell your we out of here. Peace. 505 down, you know yes, the Come on. <laughs>